A new study on great white sharks by the Cal State Long Beach Shark Lab revealing just how close the marine predators come to people in the ocean. The study trying to figure out how safe swimmers, surfers and paddleboarders are when they go into the water and what they found. Well, it may surprise you. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter joining us live now with those details. Leanne. Michelle, it is groundbreaking research documenting for the first time just how close and how often juvenile great white sharks get to surfers and swimmers along the SoCal shore and most importantly, what the outcome is. The images are eye opening. Great white sharks swimming right next to surfers and swimmers who often are unaware of their close encounter. These sharks were swimming under surfers. They didn't even change their swimming trajectory. So they were swimming just right next to people and nothing happened. Patrick Rex, a grad student and researcher at Cal State Long Beach's Shark Lab, spent two years studying SoCal white sharks from the air, using drones to get a bird's eye view of their behavior and encounters with humans. This is a way that we can, again, look at people and sharks behaving naturally in their own state. And that's really been, again, a, an amazing tool and an effective tool. The first of its kind study is part of California's Shark Beach Safety Program. Rex looked at 26 beaches along Southern California and found white sharks were primarily focused at two hot spots, so-called aggregation sites, at Del Mar and Carpinteria, prime California spots for humans and predators. Juvenile white sharks use our beaches as nurseries. We think that they use them because it's safe. There's lots of food there that's easy for them to catch and the water's warm. But that also puts them in close proximity to people that are using the beaches for recreation. The vast majority of the time that people are in the ocean at these aggregation sites, about 98% of the time, they are close to sharks, sometimes just yards away. Rex found white sharks spend more than half of their time within 110 yards of the wave break. Surfers and paddle boarders with the closest proximity. The really big takeaway is that when these aggregations show up, these sharks will be there and you will be there and largely they're not looking for you as prey. Despite the increase in counters, Rex found no increase in bites. In fact, no bites at all, confirming what researchers have long believed. As long as you leave the sharks alone, they'll leave you alone. All these animals, yeah, they're looking for safety and if they feel threatened, they will defend themselves like all animals will. So we highly encourage people to just do their best to ignore them and appreciate the fact that they're there. It's their home. Be a good guest. This study is also a key part of helping researchers and lifeguards help keep people safe at the beach. It also confirmed just how rare it is to be bitten by a shark. And Michelle, those odds, the shark labs say, are the same as winning the lottery. Oh. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.